What's up everyone? Gal the Count 23 and welcome to the first uh, Steelbook update I believe of the year. If, if not, it's the first I've done for quite a while. Uh, it just got to a point where I got had kind of quite a few that I kind of forgotten that I forgot kind of which ones I got when. So I kind of like just kind of stopped doing it really. But um, yep, yeah, so here is the return of the Steelbook update. Um, so yeah, quite a few titles in this update, so I won't be, A, I won't be talking about them too much, and B, I'll get straight into them. Uh, so yeah, first off, I'll start with the Disney's of their, of their, of, is, their, oh, there is, one, two, three, four, five, seven um, Disney steelbooks uh, from the past month. Um, I don't know, I think maybe some of these came out in April, possibly, but um, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so the first up is uh, Ratatouille. Now this is one that um, I didn't manage to pre-order when it first came up, but then um, kind of as usual um, cancellations and um, kind of card de declinations, that's not a word, but you know what I mean. Uh, people get their card declined for whatever reason. Um, so that came back in stock for actually cheaper than it was originally, so uh, that's, always a good, uh, that's always a good thing. Fortunately, there is a well, not it's not really damaged, so but you can't because you can't really uh, see it in certain light. But it does have a tiny bit of damage, but it's nothing that's that's too bad. Uh, so yeah, um, the reason I don't have these in um, kind of uh, protective things is because uh, I haven't actually checked it. My I checked it myself. I have heard that um, that the place where I get mine from, uh, Steelbook Central on eBay, um, have actually um, don't aren't getting any stock in of the ones actually have I used till August. Whether that is true, I'm not quite sure. I haven't checked, but I might check that later on today actually, because I do need some more. I just just ran out this past month, uh, which is why this one doesn't have it. But yeah, really really nice look to it. We've got a high gloss finish. We've got embossing on the title, uh, the kind of the the with the whiskers, the nose, and the chef's hat as well. We've got a border. That's just kind of finger marks. That's the only thing that's only kind of downside of kind of high gloss finishes is the finger marks you get on it. There you go, Ratatouille. No spine slash though, which is always good. Uh, it's yeah, it's like a faint. You can't really see it, like I say, in certain lights, but there's like a faint, a very faint kind of line going about there, I think. Again, you can't really, you can't even see it on camera. I mean, I can barely see it kind of with my, with my naked eye. But yeah, but it's really nice though. Um, I'm not quite enamored with it as some people are. Some saying it's like the most elegant um, kind of digital steelbook ever. It's really nice, but I don't think it'll go, go quite that far. Then we have, it is 3D though, which is, all, which is uh, pretty good. Um, I never had the 3D Amaray, so I don't need, didn't need to sell it or anything. Uh, but yeah, only 20 quid, which is where I, when I believe it might be, it might have even been 25, but I think it was probably like 20 to, uh, 21 or 22. Uh, yeah, that's why I keep these in the JCAR because I don't have any protective things. So there's Ratatouille first off, and then we have the um, the re-release of uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, where basically um, because and I have the first one here as well, but I'll show that in a sec. But basically, um, when actually no, I'll show it now because when this came out, this was the first ever um, Xavier exclusive steelbook, which is very, very hard, to, very hard to find now. Uh, which, which is a shame because it's very, very nice steelbook. You got a gloss finish, and you got embossing on the um, on the characters. You got like a debossing on there, and uh, it's got like a really nice red, red colour to it. Then you got um, a Roger Rabbit kind of uh, coming through the wall there. And then kind of really nice inside artwork. So a really nice still book. And kind of to commemorate the uh, the uh, year anniversary of that cup of the kind of the first Zavi steel book coming out, they uh, released this one, which is exactly the same, but with gold on the front instead. Uh, they had said that there's kind of um, different different embossing on it, but I can't see any different embossing on it at all. It looks exactly the same, apart from the front is gold. So uh Disappointing to be fair, but I did only pay £12.34 for this, so I'm not going to complain too much. Uh, I think it was I did that, um, uh, Z, if you you know, the kind of usual thing that I'll be doing now. If you get um, a Z box, you get um, the silver for cheap, and I think I had a code as well, so it was only £12.34. So I'm not going to, so I really can't complain about that. Uh, so yeah, actually, I will, I will kind of compare it because uh, I think I'm pretty sure it isn't different, but it might be. Uh, Actually, it looks like the embossing is kind of worse, actually. <laughs> and also, again, I just find because the I did have this before I had before I used these protective things. It does have a few scratches on it, which is a bit disappointing. But um, it's what I can see is exactly the same. Maybe even a little bit worse because it doesn't quite uh, match up with the border. I'm not sure if you can kind of see that. And then on the back, 
yeah, it's not new embossing at all. Um, that does, the blue does look a bit um, a bit lighter on this one. Um, but yeah, it's, it's exactly the same really. Um, so it's a bit disappointing because they, they, they said themselves that it was going to have some kind of like different embossing on it, which is not true at all. Um, but yeah, it's not bad. Like I say, if I'd, have, if I'd have paid kind of 20 quid for it, I would have been very annoyed, but I didn't, so I can't be that, that annoyed at all. Next up is uh, the latest Disney release, which is Big Hero 6. Uh, a couple of, um, I'm sorry, last week's, um, or the last Blue update, I showed the Amaray, uh, 3D Amaray, and uh, the, the, here is the Steelbook. So yeah, take the J card off. Very, very nice as well. You have, again, have gloss, we have a border, and it's kind of cut out around uh, Baymax and Hero on the front there. Then we've got Big Hero 6. I actually thought that the whole that the whole right was embossed, but it's just the little square bit there. So it's kind of like a, a alternative border, which I really like. Then on the back we have a Baymax and Hero um, near the end, um, near the end of the film. Not gonna give away, not give away any spoilers. Uh, yeah, I did flog the um, uh, the uh, 3D disc. Basically, I was going to um, sell the 3D disc from the Amaray, which I couldn't find. And then I found that I, because I thought I'd taken it out and put it in a in a wallet, but I didn't. It was still in the uh, in the case, so I kind of sold that one. So I'll be kind of uh, sticking that 3D disc in this steelbook. But for now, I've got the the 2D disc anyway. And we have some nice inside artwork of Baymax and the cat. Uh, so yeah, really really nice, and um, I like it. Then you get the uh, spine on the side, uh, spine on the side, the title on the spine. And uh, some people had um, reported that the um, the spine was printed a little bit uh, wonky, and I do agree that there is a you can see there is kind of a tiny bit more space on that side than there is that side. But some people have had kind of it worse, where kind of the um, the parentheses on the um, on the on the side have been kind of cut off on the spine. But mine see, mine seems uh, pretty all right, so I'm not going to complain too much about that. Uh, this is another one that came. Uh, I didn't manage to get. Um, when it first up for pre-order, then uh, kind of some got re-released again, and uh, yeah, really nice. That's Big Hero Six, and then we have a, another uh, Disney, it's actually Disney Pixar. This one, and we have Wally. Again, we have got a border, got a gloss finish, we got a embossing on the title, so nothing too special. I do, I do like the artwork though. It's kind of the half, the half kind of yellow, gold, and half kind of uh, kind of blue. Then we have the kind of goldish again spine, and then we have uh, Wally -E and Eve on the back there. Then open it up. It is again. Oh no, sorry, it's not 3D. What we're talking about. I don't think it was actually released in 3D. Um, at least the I don't think the Blu-ray was. But then for some inside artwork, which I believe is an alternate poster of the film. I think. Uh, but yeah, to get the two discs, which is uh, good to see. Um, obviously, I do own this in the Pixar box set, but that's I think that's the only way I do own this. I think. Um, didn't they, did they still book of this before? But uh, yeah, very, very nice. Nice anyway. Um, yeah, it's it's okay. It's nothing mind blowing in my opinion, but other people quite like it. And again, this is another one that um, I didn't manage to pre-order at first. Then it came back in stock, and I believe for unless I know it was it was uh, the same price before anyway. And it is uh, the Incredibles. A lot of people have been complaining about um, the colour on this. It doesn't bother me too much, but I do agree that it isn't red enough. It looks more orange than red. Uh, it's a bit disappointing, but there you go. So you got. Oh, yeah, I'll take the J card off first. Uh, got the the border, the regular border. Then we've got embossing on the kind of around the characters on the front. Then we've got an embossed tile as well, Disney Pixar on the top. And then the spine. We have Disney Pixar, the Incredibles. And we have um, the villain on the back. I can't remember his name. Um, so I've only watched this film once, so uh, I know this is a lot of people's favorite, lot of people's favorite Pixar. I've only seen it once, so I can't really comment on it too. But I did really like it when I first saw it, um, but I do need to see it again. I think so. Where they have see uh, some nice inside artwork. I, I, I actually quite like that because it's um, it's like a, a poster as well. Yeah, it's just the one disc, which again a lot of people complain about because the um, the UK Am uh, the UK Amaray doesn't have kind of these second disc of special features that the US version had uh, or I think that you, you think you can get them on a kind of their two disc DVD of two disc DVD release of this but I'm not quite sure so there's the Incredibles so those are going to fall over and then the second actually I'll show that one afterwards and then the next one is uh, A Bug's Life uh, this one this is actually one of my favorite um, uh, Pixar steelbooks actually and uh, and also one of my favorite um, Disney Pixar films as well 
So uh, yeah, we have a deboss title. We've got some debossing this time. Then we've got, uh, that is debossed, I think. Yeah, that is deep, kind of the, the, the leaf in the middle is debossed. And then uh, no border, which I really like. I mean, they do overdo borders quite a bit on these Disney Steelbooks. I mean, if they don't need it, don't have it. And this one doesn't need it, so it doesn't have it. And also, this was um, delayed quite a bit, so maybe they'd kind of they've, they'd designed this before they started doing borders on everything. Uh, be yeah, a really nice green colour. Got Disney Pixar Bugs Life. Then we have the title on the spine as well. A little um, picture of Flick on the bottom there. Then we have all the, all the characters from the film. Uh, at least all the, uh, kind of the main main-ish characters from the film. Just the one disc, but some very, very, very nice inside artwork. Um, I mean, it's, to be fair, it is basically just a, a shot from the film, but it's a nice shot from the film, so I can't complain about that too much. Uh, yeah, really, really nice. One of my favourite, like I say, one of my favourite Disney Steelbooks have released. Uh, definitely my favourite Pixar one, possibly my favourite um, kind of Disney one in general. I do like the Finding Nemo one, but this one kind of outranks it a little bit. But... Uh, I really like it, very nice steel, and uh, it's not overdone, so that's what I like about it. So that's A Bug's Life. I'll pop that over there. And the last Disney Steelbook uh, in this update is a Frank and Weenie. Uh, again, I don't know when this was, when this was, when this was released, but um, I'm not quite sure, so take it out of the protective uh, thing. There you go. So yeah, again, we've got a nice green colour, got a uh, deep, well, you could say kind of an embossed border or a debossed kind of middle. I think it's more a debossed middle, actually. Then we've got embossing on the title. Uh, there we have the front, it's uh, quite dark, but I quite like it. Uh, there we have the spine. And then the back, again, it's kind of got kind of the same thing, same kind of design on the, uh, the front, but without the actual border. And then we have, it is a 3D steelbook as well, which is always good to see, sometimes they aren't. Uh, there we have, uh, but you haven't seen this film yet, so um can't really comment on how good the film is, but um, it still looks quite nice. Uh, again, nothing quite mind-blowing, but it is uh, very nice. Again, I think this is one that kind of, <coughs> excuse me, came back into stock. Um, I think. So, uh, yeah, I wasn't, gonna, I wasn't actually going to get it, because um, I'm not quite sure why, but I didn't in the end. So there you go. That's Frank and Weenie. So that was the last Disney Steelbook, and the next four, <coughs> excuse me, are um, the four in the wave of, well, the four in this wave of... Um, kind of Marvel animated um, animated films. And first up is uh, Hulk, oh, sorry, Planet Hulk. Uh, mainly got these, uh, basically they were, I think about 18 quid when they first came out, <coughs> excuse me. And uh, they dropped, recently had like a sale where they dropped to 12.99 each. So I thought, why the hell not? Um, I do kind of like it when I get things for cheaper, when other people have it for more expensive, if you know what I mean. Um, but there's nothing really kind of anything special to these. I do like the artwork, but that's about it really. Uh, there's a nice finish on it though. It has that kind of um, iron sky um, kind of finish to it, where it's kind of like a map, but it's very smooth as well. Then we have the spine. We have Planet Hulk. I think that is just oh, there's a little bit of damage, but not too bad. And then we have the back. So that's the only thing you you do tend to get damage when when they've been out for a while. You do tend to get ones that are more damaged really, if you know what I mean. Um, and I'm sure I, yeah, if I know what I mean, but there you go. And then we, then that is, um, yeah, that's a theme you'll see through these um, these Marvel ones, which is basically the title inside, which I'm not a fan of at all. But, um, but hey, I got it for about five quid less than what it usually was, so uh, that's not too bad. Put that over there. And the next one is um, Thor Tales of Asgard. Again, I do like the artwork, but that's about it, really. Then the side, then the, the back. I think it's basically kind of like a kind of young Thor, I think. And then we have some... Uh, but I, did, I mean, it is a bit different, I suppose. Kind of the uh, actual proper inside artwork, not just a title. Oh, that was right the first time. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. I'd have it. Oh god, that sounded horrible. Uh, and the next one is, uh, I tried to kind of uh, pick, pick it up a bit. The next one is um, Doctor Strange. Again, nice artwork. It's got the same kind of uh, feel to it. Nice back artwork though, we'll give it that. And then actual inside artwork again. Uh, there you go. Uh, yep, that'll pop back in there. So my battery is nearly running out, so I'm going to have to run through these a bit. And the last um, 
ones in this uh, wave of four is uh, Hulk Versus, uh, which I believe is actually two movies, I think. Uh, yeah, there is a, that's just kind of glue residue, which I cannot get off for the life of me. And then we have the title again inside. So uh, not too bad. So you get a kind of half and half, like one half has the title, just the title inside, one half has actual artwork inside as well. Uh, yeah, pop that over there. Uh, the next one is an ultra cheapo pickup um, of a um, not amazing steelbook of a apparently not very good film. Uh, picked this up in CX for two quid. It wasn't. It was, got a bit of damage to it, but it's not too bad. Been out for. I think it's one of the first steelbooks that was actually ever ever released, and that is uh, the Wolfman. So I picked this up for two quid in CX. I was just looking there, looking in there one day, and I saw this. And I thought, what the hell? Um, it's only two quid. I'm guessing, which I'm guessing is the same price as the Amaray. Just a little bit of um, kind of the only real like real scratches are on the front, if you can kind of see that. But even in the right light, they're not that bad, really. So I thought, why the hell not? It's two quid. Um, quite rare now. Um, it's not a great steelbook. I will admit that, but it only cost me two quid, which I'll keep saying until I'm blue in the face. Uh, so yeah, there is the disc. And then, yeah, it is, it is, it is nice enough for kind of the experimental phase of the of the steelbook world, if you if you like. And there is the front. And then. This is one that I wasn't originally going to get, but then kind of everyone was kind of making a fuss about it, about like, uh, oh yeah, it's one of the most anticipated steelbook releases of the year. It's like, it's going to be so good. Um, it was 18 quid, so I didn't want to pay that much anyway. And then it kind of got, went out of stock. Then I kind of it went in stock. Then I purchased it because it was going out of stock. And then when I got it, I was just totally underwhelmed by it. Uh, it's the same shitty disc I've heard. I've heard that the, that the disc is pretty crappy. It's just basically kind of a, just, just a way to, wow, um, I'm hoping, but I know it isn't, that that is part of the artwork. My Christ. Hang on. Right. That is a bit mental. Um, but it's probably my fault. Um, possibly. Jesus Christ, that is horrific. Um, there is the crow. Um, it's not a bad steelbook per se, but it just didn't live up to standards really. Like I say, it's the same shitty disc. Um, there's nothing new about it whatsoever. The same kind of cover as the Amore anyway. Got a gloss finish, which is a, a kind of a plus point, I suppose. Got a crow in red lettering. Then Brandon Lee on the, on the front there. And there's a little bit of damage there. But again, it could be my fault because I don't know, can't remember where I've, where I have, I've, I've, where I've actually had these. Uh, then we have the spine which is in red lettering, and then we have the, oh, Jesus Christ, the horrific scratches on the back, which I only just noticed when I uh, looked at it about a minute ago. Oh, which is very disconcerting, but again, I think it's probably my fault, because I've just had, because again, I haven't had, I haven't had um, actually I have had, so what the fuck am I talking about? Um, well, would kind of go for a, re for a uh, little refund, but I think it'd be too late by now. Well, that's very, very disappointing, so uh, yeah, put a damper on the whole thing, to be honest. Um, so yeah, get the old, the shitty old, um, uh, what was it, E, hang on, uh, E, EIV um, disc, the uh, end something video, and extremely very, very lazy, as you'll see from quite a lot of these um, EIV releases. It's just basically, they've just taken the front artwork and the back artwork and stuck it on the inside. How bloody lazy is that? I'm annoyed now. Absolute shite. No, the still no, it's not the steelbook itself isn't too bad, but um, the um, damage that I've just noticed is quite horrific. So, uh, well, I suppose if it's horrific, it'll fit the film quite well. Um, I haven't seen the film myself, but I have heard it's very good. So we have the crow, and that's annoyed me for the rest of the day. So there you go. And the next, and the, sorry, the last um, steelbook in this update is an absolute corker, and it is the uh, Xavier exclusive, um, aka the Amazon.de exclusive aka the DVD store.it exclusive of Ex Machina, which a lot of people didn't really like um, uh, the film and the steelbook. I love the film, one of my favourites of the year, and I love the steelbook, one of my favourite steelbooks of the year. Not quite enamoured as, as some people are with it, but it is very, very, very nice. You have and it's a steelbook that is actually, that is actually white, not silver, which is always good to see. So yeah. Let's have a look. So we have a an inbox. We have sorry. We have the border. We have an embossed, um, a very very well embossed um, kind of 
um, skeletal thing. I'm not quite sure what to call it, but um, the all. Um, I don't even know if is if is if it's actually kind of seen in the film or if it's kind of in a, in the background or something. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but yeah, have a very very nice uh, white kind of uh, teeth white um, or kind of like a that was a, a paint a white paint kind of thing. But it's white basically. I don't know what the fuck I'm on about. Um, but yeah, I have this spine. It's kind of um, it's not it's kind of etched into the into the white in um, kind of silver. So I'm guessing it's just kind of like it's the silver of the would it be underneath but with kind of the white on the front on the top of it and then we have the um the back the um ava is uh debossed on the back then we have uh, ava lying down on the bottom there uh let's say alicia vikanda is all over the steelbook which i am not complaining about in any way shape or form uh so she's on the front of <laughs> she's on the front of the um digital copy code She's on the inside of the um, the steelbook, and she's on the front of the disc as well. Uh, <laughs> like I said, I'm not complaining at all. Um, but um, they have it—a very, very nice steelbook. Um, I think it is one of the best of the year. Whether it is the best of the year, I'm not. I not quite sure. I can't really think of one that is better. But it's not my, not the best in my collection. I think that is still goes to the Wolf of Wall Street. Just because it has more kind of more colour, more more debossing and stuff on it, stuff on it, but very very nice anyway. And uh, yeah, nothing much more to say. So uh, that is the last still book of the update. So uh, yeah, quite a few. I've had let's have a look: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14 steelbooks, I believe. Um, I did show kind of, I did actually show 15, but I just bought 15 uh, in the, I believe, um, I think all in May, maybe one on the arse end of April. I can't exactly uh, remember. Um, but yeah, that is the, uh, I'll close on a closing shot of uh, the best steelbook of the update. So, uh, yeah, so these will be carrying on. Um, again, I don't buy like loads and loads of steel books, so I will be doing these once a month. So there will be one at the beginning of um, July. Uh, there's not that many for me that I'm getting this month. I know there's a couple of HMV exclusives, American Sniper, which is out, which is out, came out yesterday, but I can't buy it yet because I have no money. And um, uh, Fifty Shades of Grey, which I'm going to have to get because I want to get all the HMV exclusives. Um, as a few Zabby ones, but um, I can't exactly remember off the top of my head what those are. Um, there might be a couple of new release ones, I'm not quite sure. But yeah, that'll about do for this video and this update. So I'll let you go, and thanks as always for watching. Have a great day.